Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, our viewers, wherever you are watching us from this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Uh, I just want to share on a very sensitive topic which uh, we've been looking at in church. And uh, I, I just want to also share a few things. Uh, I will not take much of your time. So uh, uh, this day we are looking at a topic which is um, uh, the life we live and the life after yeah, uh, this consists of uh, the things we are doing in this life and the things that are going to happen, like happen after this life which we are living into. So um, uh, please sit back and uh, relax as we as we journey together on this long journey which I'll try to make it short. So uh, before we go into scriptures, I want us to look at the Bible overview, the biblical overview, the plan of God for creation. So we find to say uh, the plans of God, the term God was uh, planning uh, to create the world, his plan was for his people to stay under his rule, under his leadership, which we call autocracy, meaning uh, the leadership of God. And when we look at uh, the creation, it was perfect in the eyes of God, where he made everything and he said it was perfect. Then it came to the creation of man. So after Adam and Eve were created, they were deceived by the enemy or by the devil, and they ate the fruit and they died. So that's where I'll pick it up. That's where I'll pick, I'll pick uh, the, uh, the discussion or the teaching of this afternoon from the fall of man. So when we look at the sin which Adam and Eve did, disobedience, they disobeyed the Lord God. Because God told them to say, don't eat this fruit. Then they ate the fruit. So that's why me personally, according to my researches and my reading of the Bible, to my understanding, I found to say uh, uh, the devil did not actually lie. Oh, he just go them. He, he, he said the the absolute truth to them. But the truth which he said was in order to disobey God, because when we look at the Bible, it says after Adam and Eve ate the fruit. The Bible says, and God said, now that man has become like one of us. And when we look at the, uh, the things of the enemy, he said that if you eat this fruit, you shall become like God. So they ate the fruit, and God himself said, now that man has become like one of us. So it was not a lie, but it was in the essence, or it was to propose them to sin. So, um, so as we open our Bible from the book of Romans chapter number 6 from verse 23, the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So uh, what life are we living in today? The life that we are living in today it is a life full of uh, people that are full of themselves. It's a life of pride. It is the life of... Uh, uh, self exhortation is a life of trying to be equal with the world. And when we look at the nature of the world, it is full of sin. So, the life that we live as youths, as older men, older women, it is the life full of sin and iniquity. So, uh, when we look at uh, the book of Titus, Paul, you're writing a letter to go on Titus. He had to give him a charge in chapter 1 and in chapter 2 where he had to tell him strictly to say you need to advise the old men, the old women to teach younger men and the younger women to have self-control. But now, the life which we are living now, it is the opposite. There is no self-control. The older men and the older women, instead of imparting the wisdom of life in us, they are busy imparting the wisdom death because the, the Bible is saying that the wages of sin is death. Now what kind of death are we speaking about? If we look at Adam and Eve they were told to say if they eat they will die. So it is this uh, 
this is a spiritual death we are speaking about here. So uh, once we live or we draw in sin, we die spiritually. The spirit which is supposed to, to live in us does not live in us. It departs, it leaves us. And uh, the Bible says in the book of Romans 8, it says that if we are living in, in our flesh, we are dead. But if we live in the spirit, we've got internal life. So the life of God which God has put in mankind as God uh, demands. The same way a child is born, is geared for until he's of age. That's how the spiritual life is as well. We, are, we become born again. We are born of the spirit. The spirit which died from, uh, from the beginning when Adam and Eve sinned and they had to die spiritually. So uh, the life which we are living in now and the life which we are going to live after this life. So if we look at this, uh, the bigger picture of uh, the story of the Bible, trying to say God had his plan to redeem mankind and until uh, the prophets came, they prophesied until the fulfillment of the prophecy which was the, uh, the son of man who shall be born and he was born who was Jesus Christ. He died, he redeemed us from the law of sin and death. So now people say, no, I sin because of the devil, I sin because I'm under pressure, I sin because of the fear of the world. But uh, as we sin, sin is not because of the devil. Yes, the devil is involved, but it is not really because of the devil, because every time we've got that hind thought, uh, which comes in our mind, the thought which comes in our mind, we say, uh, you can do this, there is always an inner man which speaks to us, to say, don't do this, this is sin. So there, it is now a debate there. So it is one to make a choice, to sin or not to sin, because we all know, everyone, everybody knows to say, to steal is a sin, to kill is a sin, to fornicate, it's, it's a sin, adultery is a sin, we all know that. So if we have got a problem, or, or maybe if we say, I'm, I'm stealing because I'm under pressure, I don't have money, I don't have this, you've made a choice to say, I must steal, that's your choice. So the life after this life uh, is not going to be an easy thing, because the Bible says, it say, shall be in of teeth, which means it is going to be, it's going to be a, a bad day, because Jesus Christ will not come as a lamb, as he came as a lamb, but he will come as a lion to judge the world. So judgment is going to be there. Yes, I've heard people say, uh, there's no hell, there's no judgment, and people are, uh, who, who, who say all sorts of things like, how can God create man and later on destroy him with fire? But the Bible is clear. If you read uh, First Corinthians chapter number three, uh, from eleven to sixteen, there, uh, the Bible says we are the fellow workers uh, with our, our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we go to verse sixteen, the written there it says that if we defile our bodies, which is the temple of God, God shall also destroy us without mercy. So there shall be no mercy because already we've been hearing the preachings from here and there, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And we think uh, it's, it's just the word being spoken everywhere. And people will say, we've been hearing of this message of repentance, but Christ is not going to come. Look at how many years has passed. There are those World War One, World War Two, but we thought that maybe Christ is coming. But up to now, is is not coming. But if you look at uh, the uh, the apostle Peter, he said, the reason why Jesus was, is now delaying to come it is because he is believing, is pleading on behalf of 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 us human kind to say maybe we might repent soon or later soon, but many can be served in the kingdom of God. So uh, as I wrap up my uh, my 
teaching this day. I just want to to, to charge someone out there. So, uh, the moment we decide to be like the world, we reject God indirectly. And we see this thing in the book of Samuel, when the people came with them, uh, to the uh, to, to the man of God who was Samuel came to say, we need a king. We want to be like other people out there. But the plans of God was to say, the people of God should live under the leadership of God. So that people out there can then see the leadership of God and maybe be changed through them. But they demanded for a king to be like the world. And the Bible says, God spoke to Samuel and said, build them a king. but." They have not rejected you, but they have rejected me as their Lord and their King. So the moment you and me, we decide to be like the world out there, we are rejecting God and we are allowing the devil to have rule over us. And when we are under the leadership of the devil, we all know where we shall land. We shall land maybe to the other side, which I call the B side, because uh, there's only the A side and the B side. So if you land to go the B side, it will be bad for us. But if we land to go the A side, it is good for us because we are doing the will of the Father who is in heaven. And the plans of God is for everyone to meet heaven, not to miss heaven. So I don't know, but if you are listening to me anywhere, anywhere you are, you can make a decision to follow the Lord Jesus Christ today and you live an upright life or to follow the world and live the ways of the world because our friendship with the world is enmity with God. So you cannot be enemies with God anyway because God is the creator of everything. So if you can become the enemy of God then, ah, I don't know. But I charge you, you can pray for yourself. You, Maybe you are out there, you are saying, I have not given my life to the Lord. You can pray to God the Father say, Lord, I know I'm, I am a sinner. Help me, I repent. I believe that you sent your son to die for me. And I believe and God is ready to welcome you with open hands. Thank you so very much to, for, for listening to me this day. Uh, I know it is not easy to just sit down and and listen to someone speaking, but I'm going to for your time and I pray for you that God will put a burden in your heart to carry the words of God or the gospel, which is the good news about the kingdom of God and advance it to the outermost part of the world. So be a preacher, preach the word of God as the, the Bible said, preach the gospel. It's not for the, for the pastors, the apostles, or the prophets, or the, the bishops, but it's for every child of God. I believe that today your life has been blessed. Thank you so much. God bless. Shalom, shalom.